One thing that our dogs really, really tend to struggle with is disengaging from other objects, distractions, other dogs on leash, that squirrel, even other um, guests coming to our home. So what we need to teach our dogs is that th there is more value with us, with the owner, than there is with the distraction. I'm gonna use my empty cat carrier as my distraction today, but your distraction can literally be anything. I've played this game with um, puppies in crates. I've played this game with, um, with my front door, with my husband. Um, I've played this game with a multitude of things. And it's, it's just a really great way to kind of teach your dog that, hey, I'm the best deal that you could ever have. I will always be more fun. I will always be more valuable than anything that is going on out there. This is a really great game for loose leash walking, for um, just for reactivity, for jumping on guests, really a whole myriad. Did I say that word right? I'm not sure. Just a whole slew of things that really, really helps. So what you're gonna need is just some treats. If you really, if you have never done this before, I would suggest having your dog on leash. Um, but if you are using a very easy distraction, then I would be okay with you not doing this on leash. Mufasa has played this game probably a million times. So I don't have him on leash today, but do not, don't feel afraid or anything like that or guilty about putting your dog on, on a leash. The whole idea is that I am going to throw one piece of kibble towards the distraction. And then when my dog orients back to me, which I will wait out, I won't call him or anything like that, then I will reward him multiple times with me. So you could also play this with like kibble out towards the distraction, cheese or lunch meat or chicken with me so that the higher re higher value food comes from me and out there is just a piece of kibble again mufasa's played this game a million times and i'm using a different kibble that he's than he's used to probably one he's not really had if at all so this would also kind of just be a new experience for him as well mufasa Yes, good boy. All right, so I am going to throw one piece of food towards the distraction, which is my cat carrier, and then I'm going to wait him out. Yes! See how he turned towards me and um, kind of asked what the next thing was? So he gets three towards me and one away. I'm not calling him, I'm just waiting him out. If he was on leash, then um, I would do the same thing. I would let the kind of the pressure do the thing, do its thing, um, especially if you played the game giving into leash pressure. That that is a really great game that helps um, facilitate this game as well. Um, you can use literally a million things for your distractions. I've used um, pieces or bowls with food in it as well. I think that's a really great way to test. Um, this disengagement this game. Yes. Good. And you can see he's a lot faster already coming back to me than he was in the beginning. Ideally, eventually, the goal would be him to say, I really don't need that piece of kibble out there. I just want what's with you. And that's easier to achieve on leash. Like I said, apparently I was not prepared and Mufasa is just not on lead today. You can also notice that now he's more in tune with me. He's not exploring my whole basement or anything like that. He's waiting for me. All eyes are on me and that's building our relationship. That's building the focus and disengagement that we all really, really want. You can't eat it before I even throw it. That is one thing you have to um, kind of keep an eye out for as Mufasa tends to be very fast. So if, um, sometimes he will catch the food before it even, it even goes to the distraction. So I got to be a little bit quicker about it. I also don't want to bribe him. I noticed on the last repetition, I held out the treat before he was, our, he was coming to me. I didn't kind of egg him on or anything like that, but I, I did help hold the treat out. 
And that's not something we want to do. We want it to be their choice to come back to us. We don't want to bribe them. So even if you have to hold your hand behind your back until the dog gets to you, that's perfectly fine. So hand behind my back. Yes, good boy. Last one. Good moo. Oh, sorry. All right, you're free. All right, so that is our disengagement game. Really easy, really fast, lots of food. So maybe use this as like a breakfast or a dinner, or if, uh, if you're doing this throughout the day, just kind of offset their meals as well. So for example, Mufasa got a Kong for breakfast, which does not equal his full amount for, um, for his breakfast. So this kind of offset how much he got for breakfast, and it ended up being about the same amount that he would normally get for breakfast. Um, if you have any questions or if you're struggling with this, first off, try the two different values. So if you're playing with kibble and your dog is just not coming back to you, try throwing out a piece of kibble and then rewarding close with hot dogs or chicken or, like I said, lunch meat, cheese, anything that's super high value for your dog. Mufasa would go absolutely crazy if I gave him some hot dogs or anything like that. Um, but like I said, he's played this game probably hundreds of times. So he kind of knows exactly what to do. With a brand new dog playing this, they might not. Really use your, your different values of food. And I really appreciate that you keep coming back to check in with me. Thank you. And if, if you're still really struggling, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. I also want to mention to you guys that this game is part of and a really great way to facilitate um, building focus. And I just released a brand new course all about building focus, building your, um, your relationship with your dog, loose leash walking, distractions, and a whole bunch of other things. And I poured my heart and soul into this course, and I think it would be wonderful for you guys, especially if you're struggling with reactivity, pulling on lead, or even some mischief happening um, in your house, such as food stealing, counter surfing, anything like that. The course is only $47, and you get to keep it for life. You get to revisit it as much as possible. You get to join an exclusive um, support group that is truly amazing. Excuse you, that was a big, big breakfast, wasn't it? And you get full support from me. I will always help you out with anything and everything you're struggling with. I'll help you customize this course however you would like. And I really, really just in love with this course. So if you would like to sign up, check out the link in the description below and keep on training, guys. I'm here for you. Have fun.